biology, life, you know. Hey, it's Marvel and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about something that's been bothering me a little bit lately. So as some of you may know, and the rest of you will now know, I have Crohn's disease. To explain what Crohn's disease is would take another video entirely, and to explain my personal story with Crohn's would take just as much time. I just thought that it's important for you to know, for the context of all of this video, that I have Crohn's. Just to sum it up, in case you don't know what Crohn's is, it's an autoimmune disease and essentially my entire digestive system is attacking itself. My Crohn's disease is categorized as severe, mild, moderate to severe. That's how it's categorized and mine is in the severe category. But that's not what this video is about. The healthcare system in the United States is a complete shithole. That is no secret at all. People with no income are handed insurance while those struggling to make minimum wage are forced to pay for their own health care out of their own pocket or be fined. This alone bothers me. Food, shelter, and medical assistance when you need it, these should all be basic human rights in this modern world we live in. If we have the means to give, why should people be suffering? The fact that healthcare is a billion dollar industry here in this country is quite frankly disgusting. More specifically, the pharmaceutical industry disgusts me. One of the most common ways to treat an autoimmune disease is with an immunosuppressant. From, for those like myself with moderate to severe Crohn's disease, uh, immunosuppressants such as biologics are often used. I won't get into the details too much here, but to sum it up, biologics combine naturally occurring proteins in living organisms with different chemical compounds to create a medication that will help you to suppress your immune system, whether this is by uh, making it so you don't produce as many white blood cells or blocking off the tumor necrosis factor alpha like several biologics do. There are a lot of ways of going about doing it. Some biologics you might have heard of are Symponi, Tisabri, Humera, and Remicade. Uh, Humera is one that I want to talk about a little bit more. Humera is one that is really popular right now. You may have seen a commercial for it on TV. Several Crohn's patients I know have been on it. I've been on it. Just about everyone I know with Crohn's and even with some other diseases such as um, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Humira is an injection and you typically receive four doses during your loading, two doses two weeks later, and then after that you take one injection every two weeks. It can differ from person to person depending on your condition. Your doctor might switch it up a bit, but that's just how it's generally done. What bothers me is that this medication that puts so many patients into remission, this medication that greatly increases the quality of life for many Crohn's patients around the world, this medication made $12.5 billion in 2014, which puts it at the top of the list, the number one most profitable pharmaceutical drug in America. I understand that Humira is relatively new. I mean, it's not exactly new, but for a medication, it still is fairly new. And it takes time for a company to make back all the money they put in for research. I get that. But for a biologic like Humira, no company might ever make a generic. It's extremely hard to synthesize one biologic alone, let alone to find a generic brand option, so they can continue to charge these ridiculous prices. Usually after a few years on the market, a generic will come available and the prices will be more reasonable after the money that they've got, uh, after the research money has been paid back to the company, but it doesn't seem likely that it will go this way with Humera. Without insurance, my Humera would have cost me two to three thousand dollars a month. That adds up quickly, especially when you're sick, when you're anemic, when you can hardly even get out of bed. How can you be expected to make three thousand dollars a month? Most people my age working full time don't even make that much. They're lucky to make half of that. Should I really be expected to spend every penny I earn for the rest of my life on a medication just to keep me alive? I don't think anyone should have to pay money simply to guarantee their survival. I think that should be a human right. I'm frustrated with how little money is put into research 
on a local, on a national, and on a global scale. We didn't ask to be sick. I just find it so strange that people can be all for raising our military defense budget, but they don't think we should put more money into research on the war on cancer or any other disease. Lives are taken on both sides from disease. And I just... I'm not... We have millions of people here and all around the world fighting just to stay alive, fighting in their bedrooms, fighting against their own bodies. And after days spent hooked up to an IV, fighting against your own body, you're set out with a massive bill. We are charged thousands of dollars to be poisoned and to fight a war inside our own bodies, and no one is helping us. This isn't the most positive video, but I've been feeling pretty down the last few days. I want to be honest with you guys. I've been sleeping more, I've been eating less. My body always does this in the fall, and I'm really just hoping I bounce back soon because it's not fun feeling sick all the time. I just think with the political issues being so hyped up right now, this has been on my mind a lot lately. And I think it's an important time to talk about these issues. When you're looking into a politician to vote for, make sure to check up on their views on healthcare and what their health policies would be under their presidency or if they were voted into Senate. No matter what office they're running for, know what their views are on healthcare because this is such a basic part of being a human. And don't look into their health policies alone. Don't just look at their health care policies. Take it a step further and look into the politicians that you're supporting. Check out the politicians you're supporting. Check out their relationship with Big Pharma. Do they support Big Pharma? Do they want to take down Big Pharma? Are they funded by Big Pharma? These things are important to know. We are being robbed of our health, sometimes by our own bodies. We're being robbed of our money just to try to stay alive. And some of the people that are in office now or running for office are supported by these same companies taking our money. It's time for a change. We need to take care of our people, especially the ones that aren't healthy enough to take care of themselves. Make sure you're registered to vote. Educate yourself. Don't take my word alone. Try your best to formulate your own opinion. And if you have a, a candidate you believe in, get registered to vote to make sure your voice will be heard in the primaries because that really matters. A lot of people think that only the big election counts, but there are so many small steps along the way necessary to meeting that major goal. I've been hesitant to state my own opinions on social media, but I'm just gonna come out and say it. I've been feeling the burn. I hope you enjoyed this video. It might not have been particularly helpful but it's something that I needed to get off my mind. Thank you so much for watching and listening to what I have to say. I'm sure I'll make some more videos touching on my life with chronic illness in the future. It's just not the easiest thing for me to talk about all the time. If you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I think that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more updates, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye, guys.